HITC Sport. Sunderland fans must be used to their best players getting the hell out of Wearside as soon as the cash is waived. But what player were they most disappointed to see leave the club? What signing were you most disappointed to see leave the club? I, I mean, there's been so many over the years who, who've left Sunderland for one reason or another in the last four or five years who were still playing good Premier League football. So it was probably a wise decision. Good ball, which he said he was leaving for personal terms, but this hospital's up in this area, so it couldn't have been. There's a fine hospital terms. down the road. Exactly. Uh, no player is bigger than our club, and if they decide to go, they've gone, and a lot of them have fallen flat on their feet afterwards, and wish they'd stayed. Well, Jordan Henderson has gone on to captain his country. Probably Henderson. Henderson. Well, he's gone on to bigger and better things, hasn't he? When they got the money for Jordan Henderson, at the time, we thought he was being overpriced. Jordan Henderson, he's one of our own. Not really sorry to see him go because he had to forward his career. No one's sorry at Sunderland when someone's put all their heart into Sunderland and they go somewhere else and to further their career, that's what they've got to do because we can't do it for them. So how can I criticise him? McLean, when he got the ball, there was no, they're not like these today, they get the ball, they're like a rabbit in the headlights, what, what are I doing? McLean got the ball and the goal, the goal was there and he only went one way, that way. Just don't give him a puppy, I'll, I'll tell you that much. We played Chelsea the night, we had the Marcus Alonso played for them. We had a chance to buy him for three or four million. Two years ago, and we, di we didn't, take him up, didn't take that option up. They went and paid 23 million for him this year, so that sort of like tells you something, doesn't it? Now he's going to win the Premier League. Exactly. Kenwin Jones. No, the history. Once they're gone, the club's bigger than any player. And so the fans are bigger than any player. Fraser Campbell. Going, away, going back a while, I'd say, Darren Ben. When, 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 when Ben came, he was uh, just a total breath of fresh air. The amount of goals that he scored for Sunderland, he was scoring virtually every other game at least. Every, every two out of every three games. Darren Bent could have become a legend. Defoe, Darren Bent, listen, Defoe is a legend. He's not going anywhere and he didn't. He's supposed to be going up a step to Aston Villa. I don't think so. No, not when he's playing Burton Albion away, he's not. He was top English scorer. He wasn't getting England call-up, but as soon as he left, he, he walked in and Aston Villa inside and got an England call-up straight away. But for someone to be a, a top scorer in the league and let him go straight away, is, I think it's, it's wrong. He just hasn't done a great deal since he's left Sunderland, so so why should he, you know, why should he have left? But Sunderland, he was he was he was totally dodd. He was, uh, he, you know, he seemed as though he was one of the lads. <laughs> that little part of you must be loving it, the fact that his career has gone down the toilet. Uh, the thing about Sunderland is, if you've got a good centre forward who scores goals, you live in the memory of the club forever. I don't think he saw that. He saw the money. He didn't see that he could get the money and the fame if he'd stayed. Ben, you're not a legend. <laughs>